after. Today I'll introduce you to this magical book, Ophelia and the Marvelous Boy by Karen Foxley. This book is about a young girl named Ophelia who believes things that are only that are scientifically proven. So in other words, she, she doesn't believe in magic or dragons or other mythical beings such as witches. But one, one day, a realization changes everything. And here's what happened. So after the recent death of Ophelia's mother, her father got a job at the museum. And while she was exploring the endless hallways of the mysterious museum, she found a boy locked in the room. The boy said that his name was taken from him by the wizards. And now everyone called him the Marvelous Boy. And the Marvelous Boy said she had to receive a number of keys. And, un and stop the Snow Queen's evil plans to, dis to end the world. And, uh, and to do that, they must deliver a sword, a very normal looking but magical sword that is destined to strike, strike down the Snow Queen. The weapon must be given to the chosen one. And who the chosen one? no one knows except that he knows a little name that even Ophelia cannot imagine so Ophelia goes on a number of dangerous trips around the museum to try to receive the keys um, that can that can release the marvelous boy I mean you might be wondering wait keys not just one key you see, she has, she has to get a key, now open a box to another key, and use that key to open another box, and there will be the key to open the, the door to the marvelous boy's cell. And so Ophelia goes on um, very, very dangerous adventures that proves everything she thought was right wrong, because there are mythical monsters and stuff like that to guard the things and ghosts all the things that are not scientifically proven was right there and as she goes through a rather alarming series of events and and at the end she finds a rather startling secret the secret that the marvelous boy had what her the name of the chosen one who wield the magical sword to strike down sword sword uh, the snow queen and that name was Ophelia it was her she was the chosen one and so you might as well guess what happened next and Ophelia has asthma she's weak and uh, she has to expect danger from everywhere, including the beautiful museum coordinator named Miss Kaminsky. Rather interestingly dangerous feeling comes over every time she, she sees her. And you might as well be warned, well, Ophelia can't get it. But I could, and probably you can, who really the Snow Queen is. And like always, a bookquester and a bookquester.